Hello, welcome to my pick a card reading. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm very excited to see what is coming to you in April 2022. So these are the groups. When you're ready, you can go to the timestamps below. This is group one, group two, and group three. Little late night vibes. I feel like this is especially for you. If you're watching this late at night. Tuning in late in the day. Group number one. This is what is coming to you in April 2022. Okay. These ones. wanted to be upright. The tower. Okay, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, first of all, you chose the Selenite, which is peace, a sign of protection. So if you have a Selenite, you're protected. And you chose this pile as well as a sign of protection. So what I see <clears throat> right away, Knight of Swords, something is moving very quickly. Things appear to be moving very quickly and you appear to be stuck on the past. Definitely more masculine energy here. If you're a girl, you can feel like you've taken on a lot of masculine roles to take care of yourself. I see what's coming is a lot of change because you're going to be trusting yourself. A lot of change. Because you've been clouding your mind with the external, with the material world. More so connections with like snaky people connections that weren't for you focusing on things that weren't for you I do feel like maybe you've like you know splurged maybe you're gonna like I do see like a glow up with this card as well and I feel like that's a good thing but I feel like you've also wasted a lot of time um not wasted time I don't want to say that you know because everything is a lesson and when you find out clarity you can change your life very quickly and that's what's happening for you literally when you find clarity things will change very quickly when you stop giving yourself away to other people when you stop caring what people think when you stop blocking your throat chakra i feel a lot here there's not a lot of blue here um i feel like hopefully we'll get some blue cards but yes this, in turn, will take a huge load off of your back because you're no longer, you know, f focused on the material is what it is. And with the Emperor, it's like you're kind of sitting on your wealth more, saving more. I see a lot of savings coming to you and the ability to do so as well. 
I want to clarify the tower. Then we'll get into the judgment. The swords here. Yes, beautiful. I love to see it. I love to see it. Thank you, universe. The six of wands. So clarifying the tower. So if you're scared of the tower, like, ah, you know, if you are someone who's like afraid of the tower, you likely know that the tower can be very good. And for you, it's quite literally saying yes. This tower coming in is you getting praise and recognition that you deserve by finally, you know, standing in your power, putting on your throne. And it is going to work out that way. As you take off the loads that you build on yourself through your imagination, negative manifestation, negative thinking, negative imagining, and you're going to start to, you know, imagine a brighter future, Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, to shift things for you. Yeah, see, and it is in your first spread too, which is good judgment in reverse. You're not going to be so over analytical judging yourself so much, judging yourself so freely, right? You were so quick to judge yourself and now you're not so quick to judge yourself. You're quick to understand why you have this pain, why you have this trauma. And it's like you've been moving forward despite the, like with the swords that you carry, you've already, it's like you've already moved forward. Coming to you in July, 2022, what is coming? So what's coming to you is achieving new goals. Oh my gosh, and wow, that was beautiful. This is beautiful, and you're holding on to money. I feel like this is your energy now a bit. You hold, you're holding on to money, of course. This, um, you know, but in April, did I say July? If I did, that's, I'm going to have to keep the video because it's a good message. It's a good message. April. We dropped a card on the floor. April 2022. So what's beautiful, yeah, and like I, I like flung that over the four of pentacles. You're, you do hold on to money. You worry about money. You want to have money. You will. You will travel, okay? And back and forth replies, incoming messages, emails, eight of wands, beautiful card of communication for you happening, you know, as a result of you letting go of money a little bit, allowing yourself to be more of a harmonious person. And in April, there are positive, there is positive celebration, positive soul tribe connections there is you meeting pre more people that are like you in april okay there is stability there are emotions that make you want to walk away from your stability or deny it at times but there is stability here for you long term but it's your cho choice page of pentacles sideways it's your choice if you want to grow you're growing right now. You could be seeing a lot of trees as well as signs. You're growing right now. It's your choice if you want to grow or you want to walk away um, to old patterns. I mean, dealing with manipulative people, allowing people to drain from you, allowing people to distract you with their lives while not giving you a second thought. Do you want to grow from this old cycle or do you want to... You're going to grow. You're, you, you are definitely a tree, a tree right now. And so... Group number one, I feel like in April 2022, you're going to be growing a lot. You could be seeing 7-11, 9-11, 11-11. And this is, this is beautiful as well. There is connections here. There is the Two of Cups. There is the Romance. Okay. Let's see if we get... Let's clarify the Two of Cups. <laughs> Oh, right. Okay, so we got obstacles. So I'm not sure why, but I thought immediately of soccer, basketball, and like the basic sports teams. So you may be dealing with someone who plays a sport, okay? Like for school or professionally. 
there's obstacles here though it's coming with the two of cups there's obstacles and there's you being more playful your more your more playful self as you heal through the obstacles through the unhealed wounds i feel like the unhealed wounds were like an obstacle trying to keep, creep their way behind the play hard like you're going to be more playful more accepting of yourself less hard on yourself more unapologetic and you are there is marriage like you have the marriage card so this is 100 percent saying there's a soulmate coming to you in april where it's going to lead to marriage and there is friendship as well okay you have different pages so for some of you guys, I, I feel it's saying for some of you guys it will be different. Some of you guys will be the person you're going to marry. Some of you guys it will be a friendship with someone who maybe the connection will lead to more. Or it could be in a friendship as well with someone that maybe you're not attracted to. But it's like a friendship that's going to be really good for you in this timeline of your life where you're more like just free. And you are going to have very strong boundaries. And I feel like you need to know that these relationships coming in they fit into your boundaries and set strong boundaries and stay firm in your boundaries okay and that's what you guys are doing and because of that you're naturally like this supportive pers person and you are attracting people who are supportive as well i feel like in april you're going to notice a lot of a lot more earth angels in your reality people who are like you so Yeah, so definitely the love in April for you is looking like friendship and just supporting connections. And yeah, soulmate, as I say that, there's definitely a soulmate there. Oop, warning, don't miss the red flags and rejection. So, whoa. So in April, you're going to be setting strong boundaries from someone who you just feel like there's too many red flags. And this rejection is the divine, is divine protection. You've learned that lesson. You're like, okay, I forgive you. I forgive myself. But the time's not right for us. It's just not the time. It wasn't the time. And uh, <laughs> quite frankly, I don't want it to be the new the time. So new love definitely coming in for you um, after you learn the spiritual lesson of that you learned in love recently. Lesson learned. Confirmation given. New love a coming to you in April. It's going to be a very passionate connection. You're going to try a lot of things you've never done before. Some of you guys could as well travel with this person because love wants to come out for you. And yes, this is love with yourself. And if you recognize that this is love with yourself, I feel like that means even more so that it's a <laughs> um, love with another person as well as yourself. Someone wants to give you an apology, and it could be a recommitment. This person is sexual-based. With time, you'll recognize that you, you like, who, who your true love really is, what true love really is to you. I'm really getting, yeah, confirmation. Boundaries are just here. Like, I feel like this here and now card, this here now card has always been my self-love card. And, like, recently I've been wondering, like, should I switch it? But no, like, it's always been my self-care card. So that's what it means to me. It's saying you recognize you're your own true love. Second chance. Look, self-care confirmation. You're, you're recognizing you are your own self. Your own true love. Um, you're working less as well. And this relationship deserves second chance, past life. Yeah, there's a past life connection that's trying to come in for you. That's a new love. And this relationship deserves the chance to have it again this lifetime, <laughs> which is amazing. So, yes, group number one. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what happens. Let me know how it resonates. If you'd like a private reading, you can book one below. Um, like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos. See you later.
bit for a bit. Oh. Alright, group number two. Great selection. You chose this green crystal. Love it. Heart chakra awakening happening for you in April 2022, group number two. April for group two. What is coming? What is to come? If they are watching this. And they chose this group. April 2022. What's coming to group number two, Spirit? Okay, those ones fell out. That was not a good shuffle. Dispiration. Dispersing. Okay, 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 okay. My apologies for hitting you guys there. Oh my. April. Wow. God, I finished it off. Oh, there's another card right there. Okay. So it's straight up with Ace of Wands. This message um, just wants to come out saying like someone stopped giving someone the D or you stopped letting them give you the D for someone. That's a relationship where that just res like that resonates for some reason for someone. Okay. Um, but in April 2022, before we even get into love, I see a lot of like you glowing up you balancing your yin and your yang energies you are really really um balancing your light and dark and recognizing like i feel like there's this darkness here there's this darkness that's created from your mind your mind can create this darkness right and i feel like you need to know that's a beautiful thing because your mind can also create this light and that is how it has to be you know it has to be that dark and that light but overall you guys like are a good person you want to change for the better but I feel like you can just be hard on yourself and I feel like that's where the dark you know manifestation or power that's what you're tapping into or realizing about yourself you could definitely be an air sign okay you're really recognizing mental entrapments that you've kind of placed on yourself in April and you're recognizing they're coming from your emotions and you're releasing your pride and your ego that try to tell you otherwise you could definitely be seeing angel number of fives okay and you're recognizing these mental entrapments are a result of your emotions and you're healing that and in turn that's that's creating passion in you naturally effort effortlessly because you are the empress so you became the empress a long time ago when you stopped giving someone the D when you stopped giving just outside of yourself in general to other things when you like started working towards your goals some of you guys that's where there's this cloud where that happened hasn't happened quite yet but in April this is happening for those of who those who understood Wrap your head around it. You're good. It's, it's your emotions. And patience. Patience. Healing isn't linear. Here's your fair, fair um, warning. It's about not letting the... It's about underthinking it. Okay? Let's put it that way. Let's just ask specifically about love. What would to come out for love for you? That was like your general little glisp. Okay. Let's 
Ace of Cups, Page of Wands. A new love offer, but uh, they're not really all that with the Page of Wands. They're, they're given that passionate energy that, like, it's all about the passion, about the lust. So it's like you're more so traveling, and I feel like you're not really finding that wish fulfillment in love. But you are finding love for something else, passion. Okay, so with that being said, we are going to talk about your career. A lot of you guys, you own a business. If you own a business and you're watching this right now, massive success in your business in April 2022. Massive growth and abundance. Self-transformation and just a natural passion and zest. Because I can feel it. I can feel this from you, for you, with you. So what is coming in April 2022 to group number two? Okay. So emotions look clarifying. Emotions, your emotions. A lot of you guys have a lot of anxiety. Have faith in your dreams, so you guys could be having some crazy dreams, some a result of emotions. And helping you release emotions, you're going to be releasing a lot of emotions, yes. Um, April 2022, which will cause you to have more faith, and the end of a tough cycle approaches. That's what's happening for you right now, that's your present energy, I can feel it. The end of a tough cycle approaches occurs for you transformation reality shifting with the surrender because it's like you've gotten to the bottom of the goop and the gunk that you've created in your mind you know however that resonates it will be different for everyone but it's still for you okay so yeah you you've gotten to the breaking point you've gotten to the bottom where you're at the point okay at this point i surrender i'm done and when you're at the bottom you can only go up Okay. Yes, yeah, so you're like, I'm done, literally. I'm done. Nothing will come of this situation. I'm done of <laughs> the BS. And this is a career reading, okay? But what this energy overall, it's causing you to have faith in your dreams. Nothing is going to come of me giving my energy elsewhere to other people and putting other people before my dreams and my goals. Because I, I intend, you know, yeah, hold your vision. At the end of the day, in your mind, you do intend to pursue your dreams and you're recognizing I'm good enough to do so. And, you know, with the adjustments I required, a new start is coming. You, yeah, you're going to have to, you're going to create a new start for yourself. And I feel that strongly in April 2022, you're going to be creating a brand new start for yourself. Recognizing that you are enough. A new start is coming, you know, and this is good. This is good because what you've been living in is those fears and this new start involves you working through your fears and just living as a being and the person that you are is truly great and I feel like this has to do with your career what it has to do with your ability to create you know security and stability for yourself career-wise I feel like a money meditation or visualization can be good for you both the you and your loved ones are safe this is also my um, divine protection card this is my divine healing card this is my rent paid card <laughs> you know, bills paid, so if there's a, a bills you need to pay, like red, um, you know, if you're feeling like you need that protection from evil eye, evil intentions, like, this is here for you in April, you have all of those things in April, okay, so hold your vision, the balance, spirituality, and practicality is like a strong reverse, which is interesting, so, um, yeah, you, you're, like I said, yin yang, you've been, kind of suppressing that darkness feeling like it's feeling like like it's not okay that did not even want to come out <laughs> feeling you're feeling like that darkness is not okay but now you're embracing the darkness you love it you're not fearful of the darkness you know you're not fearful of your own mind you recognize the power of your mind and you're and it's paying off it's paying off it's hard work you're do what you're doing for yourself in April, but it's paying off. Supernatural luck here. So it looks like, yeah, a win-win outcome is forecast. It looks like whatever is going on in your career in April, it's a win-win. It's going to work out. Things are going to work out. 
The wooden outcome is just in your forecast. Definitely success abundance for you. So yeah, scoop number two. That's what's coming to you in April. I hope that that resonated. I hope you guys appreciated the way that I kind of read right now. I'm not really doing love this, that. I'm just kind of like, what do I feel called? But I thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos. If you'd like to book a private reading, you can book one by clicking the link below. And yeah, resonate, you know, resonate. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh, yeah, comment some videos, video ideas. You know, if you're if you have a video idea that you want, I will likely view it if you comment it. So, yes, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Alrighty, group number three, favorite crystal. You chose this calcite. I believe it is. Okay, or it could be citrine. I think it's calcite, it's calcite, it's calcite. Um, anyways, this is an emotional healing crystal. I really recommend just an orange crystal like this. Calcite or um, citrine, I recommend. So definitely you guys are healing that third chakra, for sure. You're also healing that sacral energy. I feel as though it's a connection type of thing. Recognizing that you need to be smoother like and kinder with yourself. Let's see what the cards say. Yeah, the Empress. I feel like just warmer vibes. You could be getting out into the sun more. Just you have a warm energy. And it's like you're tapping into your own energy, how you have this warm energy about yourself, how you love being with yourself. You're your own great company, how you're such a giver. You're such a kind, honest human being. You're such a good person. So many bright cards. And because of that, you deserve good. And because of that, you stand in your power confidently and you tap into your own emotions and focus on giving to yourself as much as you can, giving to your own emotions as much as you need to. And peacefully peace, a lot of peace coming to you in April, a lot of peace of mind, harmony, victory. There's some things that you're carrying, so ask yourself how you can lighten your load because you seem very victorious here, so there's no need to carry some of the things that you're carrying, so you can definitely lighten your load to put yourself to be in a place to be more open to receive. So in April, twi try to just be like, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to say twilight. Some of you guys, that resonates for some reason, um, but try to put yourself in a more relaxed state because that's where you're going to attract the most abundance okay page of pentacles ace of wands so you're developing definitely you're learning something new you're definitely going to be learning some new lesson in april it's a lesson of like yeah the way he's holding this pentacle is really like appearing to me my other tarot readers know what I mean when I say it's like glowing um but yeah the page of pentacles it's like you're holding the success in your hand you're holding whatever you have in your hand this prized possession this gem it could be a person for you okay it could be a project a dream it could be you you on the sur surface finding out if, like who you can be you're just there's something precious that you're holding in April and you're figuring out, okay, how can I exactly handle it, okay? And you're going to be victorious in handling it the right way that is at best interest of you. And in turn, there's going to be new adventures, new ideas, new inspiration coming to you in April. A new inspired energy, wow, especially with the magician. Um, you could be seeing a lot of threes. You're going to be feeling like, I want, like, 
I want to manifest, I'm going to manifest, and also manifesting quite freely. Um, very much law of assumption energy of like, I'm assuming the best for me. I've, some of you guys are like, I've done the manifesting, now I'm assuming it's coming in. I'm giving my manifestation some time to come in actually right now, thank you. <laughs> That's your energy. Um, some of you guys could, could definitely have Gemini placements. Definitely fire sign placements. Wouldn't be surprised if there was an Aries moon here. Sagittarius, sun moon rising. Whoever. You're like, I'm creating magic with my life and I'm going to inspire myself. And that's it. There's nothing to say about anyone else or anything else. I'm going, you're literally like, this is me. I'm up here standing as tall as I can because I need to. With the moon card, yeah, it's like because I've been sad with the hierophant and um, I'm rising more, I'm elevating. So it's like I've been in these cloudy, murky waters. And I'm going to rise above them because that's all I can do is literally vibrate higher. Therefore, I'm going to vibrate higher. Knight of Cups. And therefore, I'm going to grow. Therefore, I'm going to take a, a new journey. I'm going to take a new journey, actually, this April. I'm going to find new inspiration. And that sounds scary. That sounds scary. To someone watching right now but this change is something to celebrate it's a getting out of your head once again they just want to say and you achieving goals so it's like actually you're just going to be adding new things to the list i feel like in april you're going to add something new to your bucket list maybe you added something new to your bucket list recently maybe it was visiting somewhere a country or something i'm feeling with the tower because like if you were to move and maybe tear it like sell your house you know that would be a positive thing but it would be tearing some things apart. I do feel like in April there's a new reality coming to you. If you're looking to buy a new home, I feel like that's happening soon. Um, things are going to sh change very quickly for you and you are protected along the way. You, um, Some things that you want to hold on to are just going to have to end because they don't provide to your long-term stability and it can be hard to understand and it can you know, get dark. But it's important for you to embrace that darkness in a positive way, to transmute that, to recognize with the sun card how it has healed you in essence and just appreciating yourself and validating yourself and walking away from the internal conflict and the projections that others have placed onto you that told you who you were and standing firm in who you actually are and being proud of the fact that you are this kind, amazing person. And I feel like in April, you have the King of Pentacles in reverse, justice. So there could be a lack of financials if you go back into old ways and repeat old cycles, yeah, because there could be a thief that will drain from your energy. And this is someone that you may be holding on to. You need to move on fully and get out of your head about them because you dodged the devil. This was divinely guided and orchestrated. So, yes. Private readings below. <laughs> hey, this reading's a little dark, you guys. So, in the most positive way, because you've been in the light, but for other people, now you're kind of like transmuting the energies everyone's been putting on you. So, let's just see what shadow work you're going to be doing, what you're going to be improving on, okay? in April 2022, where they're going to be improving on. Where are you going to be improving on? So, if you're honest with yourself, group number three, fiery people, earthy people, airy people, <laughs> beautiful people. You're going to stop being so hard on yourself. I definitely, someone has probably told you that you're hard on yourself. Okay, you're going to stop being so hard on yourself. You're going to, if there's anything that you don't want to be, it's in your ego, it's in your pride, it's in caring what you look like or what people think about you. That's for sure, certain. And Yes, you can do things to make yourself feel more confident, but one thing that you're releasing is actually caring. Caring what other people think about you. Perfect. Okay. Um, calling the storm. So in April, there is this, like, period, there is this storm that's coming because we also got the tower. So there is something in April that's, like, 
a very big change and it's like the change can be painful it can be you inflicting more pain on yourself and I feel like now is the time where you actually have to put down that mask of pain of put down the shield and the sword and stop fighting because there's nothing to fight anymore and I feel like if you you're at that point where you just can't fight anymore there's that point where you have to put your pride aside where you have to actually surrender where you have to actually let everything go and actually trust that's what you have to do this April because you like you're at the point where you can't keep going with this self-inflicting pain you've been peaceful among these thorns for too long and now they've caught up with you your own demons your own spirits that when you tap into your own full emotions you are this peaceful harmonious there's this pain that's been just you know pushed down for so long and in april it is a bit darker it is you healing that but that is like the most the absolute most positive thing for you okay and in april i feel like there's addictions addictions there's this addiction to pain this addiction to like obsessing over a mask that you have to put on because of for whatever reason that you've been programmed to believe that you have to put on this mask there's that obsession about that and like i said this is shadow work this is what you're releasing so it's beautiful you're also releasing that obsession with you know addictions um sexual behaviors of giving where you're not receiving Re you're also going to be releasing isolating yourself because of some kind of guilt of being like who you are there's just this transformation and there's just this breaking of the shell of the mask of unapologetic openness and getting rid of who you used to be there's a death to who you used to be and this is a very beautiful positive amazing thing to hear group number three talk about sacred chakra healing so this is what's coming to you in love what is coming to you group number three in love what is coming to group number three in love in April 2022. What is coming up? You're like freeing yourself from it. Okay, so this let go of control issues, there was like, it went into my incense. So there was a fire um, that was put out because of some controlling person. You freed yourself from it. You're staying optimistic. Quite a lot of reconciliation. Whoa. In April, there could be a recon um Okay, release your ex. Yes, good. So in April, you're releasing your ex. You're releasing wanting a reconciliation, like, because that literally went in the incense. You're releasing that, and you're like, no. Releasing them, focusing on your spirituality, falling in, and, like, keep an open mind about who you love, because you're just stepping into, like, a new love for yourself, a new person for yourself, and this sense of existence, and living quite freely. So... You're going to run into someone and it's going to be like very good and you guys are just going to have a good like connection. So it's not, they may differ from what you expect, but it's like you're both open there. So it's a beautiful thing. You're both free, which is why you have this like um, success. It's true love and you deserve the love. Codependency engagement. So yes, you are working through codependency and something that you have to do as well is work through codependency in order to free yourself from the need of another person. And once you do that, in turn, you are going to recognize I deserve love for the right reasons. Um, but yeah, you're definitely like in this retreating, yeah, retreating away um, from love kind of thing. But there is an engagement with a true love here you need to know about. But you are healing through codependency first as well. And you are healing, of course, from this controlling X as well beforehand. So they're just telling you to stay optimistic and be um, excited about your healing. Okay? And that's what you're going to be doing in April 2022. Group number three. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video. Comment below any video suggestions that you have. And subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you would like to book a reading, you can book one below. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you soon.